DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. to another episode of Mixin' Vixens. My name is Emily, also known as Mel Nikon, and let's say hello to our other fellow Vixens here. First up, we have Jen the Juice Fairy. Hi, Jen. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello. We've got the lovely Lumi. Hey. Hi, Lumi. Hi. And last but not least, we've got Mixtress Rin. Hello. Hi, Rin. How was your weekend? Good. I'm just sleepy. I've stayed up too much this weekend. I'm very uh, sleepy. Do you I had to force myself to not take a nap so that I could be here because I was afraid if I took a nap, I might not get up. Yeah. I took a nap yesterday. I've been sleeping like crap lately, though. Like, I'll sleep for like two or three hours and then I'll just wake up and be ready for the day. And just, oh. like, in the middle of the night, I'll just be up. It's and my daughter's birthday, so she came down for the weekend. And then what she's doing now, which she didn't used to do when she lived here, was she says, Mom, can you come in my room? And then she wants to talk for hours mm -hmm. about whatever it is that's been happening in her life. And, and, and I'm like, dude, I've been going to bed at 10 o'clock since you left. I can't hang. I'm <laughs> I know that you're in college hours and staying up all night and waking up uh, right before your class, but mom can't hang. What have you been up to, Jimmy? Um, allergies are all kinds of messed up. I'm having some kind of a flare with my ish. Already? Typically, it's not even really fall fall yet. They just hate the field behind me. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I hate it when they do that here, too. So, yeah, my, my ish has been eh, which is typical. So it's just part of the roller coaster. I'll get over it soon. But you, Rin. How's life? I got my dad squonking. Did you? Oh, snap. Oh. I did. So his he uses the Revo tank by Aspire. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's got like the disc coils. Yeah. Um, it's just something that he likes. It's easy to switch and blah, blah, blah. Well, he lost a piece for it. Couldn't find it anywhere. So he was without like anything. And I'm like looking for tanks and stuff because I don't use tanks. I don't like them. <laughs> Not anymore. So um, I did find like a spare, but I'm like, you know what? I think what you might like is like a squonk. Have you ever, you know, did it or whatever? He's like, no. So I have my G box that I haven't used and set them up with the drop dead on top. Got them a little thing going and he likes it. So now he has his, cool. his tank because he found the piece for it that he was missing and then a tank and then the squonk and he's got all three. Nice. All three going at the same time? Yeah. Wow. He's well, the good thing is that he... You know, squonk, if he can just move cotton out and put it back in, it should be pretty simple. And he doesn't have to buy any coils so he can be independent. Right. Yeah, he bought like a bunch of them. But like I told him, I'm like, with everything going on, it's good to at least have something you like outside of that that's more like sustainable. Yeah, like, I agree. I got quills for days and spools and whatever and everything else I got. So, yeah. But he likes it so far, so I thought that was hey. cool. 
I can't get my husband to like Squonkin. I tried. I did get him in it for about mm, three, four weeks. And then he was like, I want my tank. So he's in an RTA. So that's that's where we're at now. My son is the same way. He doesn't like squonking either because he forgets and they get dry hits. And it's just a, another thing that they don't have to think about, you know? See, your husband's in an RTA, but let me ask you this. Does he re-wick his own tank? No. And you gotta re yeah. it for you. Yeah. The 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 best thing, the only thing that he will do if I'm busy, is he'll take it and he'll take the cotton out and he'll clean the coil and then he'll bring it to me with a oh. piece of cotton and the and the scissors. Oh. Well, that's hey, that's better than my wife won't even can't even do that. <laughs> Like, I mean, mine won't, he won't do that unless I'm in unless you're working <laughs> and in the middle of something and he knows that the answer is going to be no, right, not right now, later. And he's already, <laughs> let's say he's already burnt his cotton and he can't even vape anymore. And yeah. you know, this is like last resort. He's like, okay, let me get as much as I can. My you husband know, does well, that. What's funny is I've shown her how to do it too. Like, oh, I've shown Chris. I've shown him so many times. My husband does the same thing too. Like whole weight. And I'll forget because I do so many other random things. Like I putz yeah. around the house and I do so many like small things. Uh -huh. He'll wait like two weeks and then he'll just drop off his RTA and his RDA. And he'll be like, he'll just like rinse them through the sink real quick. And then he'll just leave them on my desk in a paper towel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mine literally comes to me like this with them in hand saying, I don't have anything to vape right now. Can you help me? <laughs> I know. I, I forgot. I was supposed to rework it yesterday, or I had told her I would yesterday, and I had time yesterday. And then I, I had forgotten. It slipped my mind. Like, I'm not the one vaping on a nasty coil, so it's not in my head. And so today, when it's now too late, and it, she, it's it's un unvapable, she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, you need to rework this. Like, oh, crap. Okay, so I'm, like, scrambling before the show, trying to get everything together and rework everything. So my son lives in Florida, right? And for years, I always, he's always had three tanks there and I've had three tanks of his here, right? So every time two of them were, were ready for rewicking and, you know, servicing, he would literally mail them to me. He would mail me two, he'd keep one, right? Uh, then yeah. I, I make his juice here and I would make him a bottle of juice. I'd send him his two tanks plus one that I have here, you know, I have three, right? So I'm always keeping mm -hmm. two and sending three back, I think. I forget what the hell the rotation is. Anyhow, we were doing that. Well, yeah. when I bought him the Vandy, it was, um, it's a Vandy Vape. It, it's kind of like the Jackaroo. I bought him the Jackaroo. It came with a, an art, uh, a, a tank, like a sub ohm tank thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and he texted me and said, this thing is wonderful. And I'm like, good, I'm not changing, not having to do any coils. Go buy your coils. Yeah, just go buy your coils. So he bought some coils and ran out. But I, in the meantime, I had found a sale one time, right? And one of the times I sent him juice, I sent him two boxes of the coils with the juice and mailed them to him. And this was recently. This was like, I'd say like March, February or March of this year before all shit hit the fan. He texted me yesterday a picture of his tank with the coil and how dark it was. He goes, mom, I'm out of coils. They don't have any local. Ah. And I said, you went through um, four boxes of coils between March and right now? He says, what do you mean? I only had one box. I said, wait, you've been going through one box of coils since March? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will vape until it's just like a hunk of charred <laughs> block of blackness <laughs> I said, wait at first i was like you were vaping this it's so nasty i'll threaten my i was like you went through three boxes uh four boxes of coils and then when he told me he only had one i was like wait that's even worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> four coils since march <laughs> so what do you mean i'm like once a fucking month then i told him i said i send you two boxes michael he said he goes you know he sends me a picture of his drawer where now he has three other boxes i said how about change your coils and try to do it more than once every month and a half? Yeah. <laughs> I threaten my husband when it gets like that. I'll be like, why Why are you vaping if you're going to let it get this crappy looking? Like, you, yeah. you might as well go back to smoking cigarettes. And then he'll start, like, remembering for, like, the next week to bring his RTA and his RDA back, like, every four or five days. 
and then eventually it just tinkers off and then I get it like every two and a half weeks and I'm and then I go back to why are you vaping this <laughs> this is supposed to be a healthier alternative I used to have Megan only likes she likes the Merlin RTA like the original and they don't sell it anymore and I and I had two of them and so it was really nice because I would I would wick them at my leisure and then when she needed a new wick, she would just switch out tanks and I would just re-wick them at my, on my time. But then her brother-in-law started vaping or broke his tank or something. And she gave him her, the other Merlin. And so I'm like, ah, oh. so now it's like, I have to do it. Like, you know, I, I, I might have uh, a Merlin here. I do not have any of the of the thingies that go inside of it and it free spins at the bottom but i'll happily send it to you yeah i wish i could what was that that was loomy squeaking what do you mean what was that was that just a loomy squeak yep <laughs> do you live under a rock i don't think you've squeaked for the victim. i don't <laughs> <laughs> bullshit okay <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been around you when you squeak. She squeaks. That's why they call her Lumi Squeaks. Lumi Squeaks. Okay. Anyway, guys, let's talk mixing. We've uh, we've been at this for a while already. Wow. Yeah, we're uh, talking like we haven't talked in like a year. I know, right? <laughs> I guess what happened this week. So this uh, this mix was a lot of fun to do. For first off, though, I have to say, James picked this picture, and it was submitted. Um, who was it submitted by? It was submitted by uh, Dan Dewitt, and James, our tech producer, picked this picture. And it, and we had just like he's the first one who submitted it right after we were talking about wanting like fall mixes and stuff. And I'm like what the hell so at first I was really upset I'm like we're I'm wanting to get into fall mixes and you know warm cozy and bakery stuff you know and he submits this freaking rainbow ice cream but you know what after messing with it today and 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 mixing it this week um I really like it and um I had a lot of fun playing around with it yeah I almost called mine the last summer hoorah yeah but then I was like, that's too much. Let's just call it what well, it is. That's a little over the top, maybe. <laughs> yeah, people won't know. It's not fall until the 22nd. So to go into fall things that early when it still is summer mode here in Virginia, it just feels too off. Doesn't feel yeah, it's right. pretty freaking hot over here, too. I mean, we were super happy that it got down to like 70 today. Yeah, it's starting to get in the 60s now. So it's, it's cooling off here. It won't be 60s here. And it might, it won't be 60s here till uh, end of October. Well, because yeah, you, where you live. Yeah. Um, it's very mild. Our summers are mild and our winters are very mild. So like it's, it's like 50s, 60s most of the year here. And then that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice temperature. It is no, nice. It's not. And you have like you have like two months of like seventies, and then in the winter time you have like two months of thirties, and you know. I need a lot more summer days than just that. Yeah. I hate the cold, cold. So who wants to go first? I've got a lot to talk about on mine, so I don't. Think I guess then I'll go first because when I saw this, I just kept thinking about food coloring. Every time I've had a rainbow colored ice cream like this, it was just vanilla ice cream colored like goddamn rainbow shit all over it. <laughs> so I was going to just do a vanilla ice cream and I didn't <laughs> get away with that. I didn't, I really didn't think I'd get away with it. So I was like, screw it. I'll just do a vanilla ice cream, add cooling. And then <laughs> a little bit of strawberry flavor and I couldn't like I was like strawberry 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 and then I looked up and I saw cream dream up on my shelf because it's it's like a really artificially kind of strawberry something 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 mixed in there so yeah. 
I went with Cream Dream by Nicotine River at 2.18. Polar Blast FA 0.48. Vanilla Ice Cream Liquid Barn 4.23. Whipped Cream 1 on 1.76. And I am happy. And it's good? You like it? You're really making happy? Made you giggle? It, it tickles my fancy. It's so just that, that cream dream by Nicotine River, then, that's like a strawberry and cream? It's a strawberry cream ice cream, but I swear there's, like, pineapple or, like, coconut notes in there, too. Like, it's, it has, like, undertones, and it's more of, like, the artificially flavored fruits than it is, like, a realistic fruit. Right. Okay. I kind of like that, usually. Well, Jen, you need to move over a bit because you're, you're um, being cut off by the recipe thing. This way or that way? The recipe is where your door is. That way. The recipe, so yeah, the recipe is where your door here. is. There you go. Add a girl. All right, sorry about that. I just, it was bugging me. It was bugging you? Yeah. Well, we can't, we gotta be able to see you, you, you know? It's there, a video, I'm not an audio whole, broadcast. I moved my whole thing to the side, and now you can see my terrible paint job. I painted this. I was about to say, you need to work on that trim better. Yeah, fuck it. The walls are one color and the trim is another. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> Audience can't see it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Sam's has got to see the girls. I agree, Sam. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with it. Here yeah, they are. Hold on. I have to speak for them to show up. <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say, Lumi? It's tasty. It's fabulous. I added more cooling than I normally add to anything. I surprisingly still like it. That's it. Now, this is my question because I just noticed on YouTube that I'm highly zoomed in. Uh, what's going on with that? Did I do that? Or did our producer do that? I can't hear him. He's explaining it's him. You okay. have to cut some stuff off and redo some things. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. I'll sit back. I'll sit back. That way they James, can get it. Uh, now can they get the girls? James is very apologetic that, you know, that we didn't get as much of the girls because he had to cut some stuff off. So Jen is now compensating by sitting back. <laughs> well, it's odd because they can't hear him. And, I, and so it's like, we're just talking to nobody. And so I, I thought I would narrate. You'd narrate it. Fun. Yeah. All right, I'll go next. I just named my Mill Nikon's rainbow ice cream. Um, I decided, because there's a lot of green in there, um, in that picture, I decided that that was actually blue and yellow. Um, oh, so, blue and yellow. Yeah, because blue and yellow make green. Blue and yellow dye make green. So what I did was I did a blueberry and lemon ice cream with a little bit of strawberry. So I did one and a half percent vape train bilberry ripe because it's a very bright candy blueberry. And then I did 1% jungle flavors blueberry because it's a very deep and bassy and like earthy blueberry that I thought would help balance the lemon, which is in a word of lemons kick at 1%, which is a very bright, it's not tart, but it's a, a very bright um, top heavy lemon flavor. And then I added a little bit of Capella strawberry taffy because I wanted some strawberry in there and strawberry isn't the main note. So I felt like I could have fun with it and use whatever strawberry I wanted. I hadn't used strawberry taffy in a while, but it's really good, like a creamy candied strawberry, like a strawberry taffy. Um, and then for the ice cream, I didn't want like a thick, buttery vanilla -y ice cream like a dense kind of ice cream so i actually went with three percent capella vanilla whipped cream to make keep it light and airy and um but i would still have a lot of that dairy to it so yeah. it, 
I really that's a like great it. choice for a dairy note that's not thick and buttery and exactly um it's really good as a shake and bake like you don't need to let this steep at all um it's you know because of the I think the balance of the bright lemon with the basey blueberry and and the vanilla whipped cream you know because it's not very like that heavy and dense and rich it doesn't really need that long to steep so you can vape it right away. Um, you know, it will grow some and get some depth with time, but it's not necessary. Makes sense. Makes sense and looks good. And it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recently rediscovered this jungle flavored blueberry and I've been sticking it in everything. It's just really good. I wouldn't have ever thought of using um, strawberry taffy, but when I saw that, I kind of got jealous because that would have been a good smoothing agent for mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It adds a bit of thickness, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. I like all of that. I really like the use of the whipped cream, the vanilla whipped cream. Is it? Is it very, is the vanilla strong on it in the mix? Um, no, it's not very, it's not too strong like that it's a it's a nice you know that capella vanilla note but it's not overbearing and it, it blends in with the, the blueberries nice it's really good um have any of you i know jen hasn't but lumi or rin have either of you tried that in our lemons kick nope okay well, if you like lemon. yeah if you like lemon it's definitely worth checking out it's like i said extremely bright now it's not tart or sour or anything like like they train sour lemon or anything but it's really bright and it has a nice top heavy lemon note to it i like i really enjoy it it's good i think i got it because fresh told me he really liked it so i'm like all right do they sell do you know if they have that at bcf yeah i think that's where i got it, it was full city okay i, I, I plan on visiting the boys tomorrow Shh, don't tell them they'll probably watch this before um i get there so they'll know but no if i go there i hope they're ready boys <laughs> I, hope, I hope they have a bottle of this inside so i can try it ah, i'll bring a bottle of vg already pre-minute so i could just do a single flavor test there there you go like they're all they're awesome over there they're uh yeah, they, they are. They, they take they, care of us. They went to the rally this weekend to the vape, um, save the vape rally. And they're not even liquid manufacturers, but, you know, it was important That's to them cool. to support. That's awesome. And everybody knew that it was going to be a low tur um, turnout because of COVID and economy and stuff like that. But they went yesterday. I saw some pictures. I was like, oh, they went. I didn't go this time. So, I mean, they support the industry any way they can. Good. Well, since I've done all that talking, Rin, you care if I go next? Do it. Do it? Go, Jen, go. Go, Jen, go. No, so I fairified this. That's surprising. I haven't fairified in a while, but this was wow. necessary. It needed it, huh? Uh-huh. I got 10 flavors. Definitely fairified, okay? A little um, sherbet. Yeah, so it's it's a blue sherbet, and, and for to me, you know, because of all the colors in there, I didn't want anything too creamy. But you know, sherbets are made out of fruit, some sort of fruit juice, mm -hmm. um, some cream. Sometimes it has some natural fruit in it, and a citric note. So I was like, this is perfect. I, I want to make a sherbet it, it versus a sort. Wait, sherbet sherbet is the one with the cream in it. The sorbet is the one without the cream and just the fruit, right? Yeah. I wanted to use the one with the cream in it. Sherbet has the cream. Yeah, and I think that's how I spelled it. I think, yeah. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I spelled it right. I did I did pick the right one. <laughs> so I did, um, let me go down the list of the flavors I use. I use blueberry from Flavor West for my blueberry juice. So it's an artificial blueberry juice that I'm using, obviously, because I'm using flavor rice blueberry. Obviously, if anybody knows me, everybody knows that if I'm going to use blueberry, that's the one I'm going to use because that's the one I like. That's the one that I can taste. And like some people are strawberry blind. I'm blueberry blind. Better be able to taste it at 7%. Damn. Yep. It, this is a juice. So it's like, 
a very thick juice and, it, and ice cream is very sweet and it's very um flavorful or sherbets are to me and it's almost um too much you know it's, it's a dessert so that's why i went all the way out to seven percent so that that would be my sweetener but i'll get into that further i use blueberry the juicy blueberry from fa to bring in some natural aspects because the blueberry from flavor west is very artificial so to deepen it and darken it a little bit i use the flavor flavor art blueberry juicy right at 0.5 i didn't want to go too high because i didn't want to add too much depth and darkness to it. I wanted to maintain the artificial flavor of a, a sorbet. Mm -hmm. I use cream fresh. Now I, I use an old old school mix, which is cream fresh. The combination of cream fresh and Vienna cream is an ice cream. It's just an old school ice cream. And then I added the sweet cream to add the extra thickness to it that's milky, but didn't have any additional vanilla notes because I didn't want it to be overpowered by vanilla. Um, I used a touch of Polar Blast just to give, I mean, I mean, when I say a touch, I mean 0 0.10, enough to give it that, that authenticity coolness, but not enough for it to be cold, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and I didn't want to use WS-23 because I find WS-23 is even cooler. And all I wanted was a little sensation of coolness in there. Although when I let my husband taste and he hates all things cold, he hated it because that's all he could taste was, he said menthol. And I was like, okay, oh, perfect. Geez. Thank you. Got it 0.1%. Yes. And he said, it's I said, what does it taste point. like to you? He said, it tastes like menthol. I was like, give me back that damn thing. I don't think um, you guys know the difference between mint and menthol or cooling. Your dad can't? No, because like I was vaping peppermint. He's like, oh, it's menthol. It's like, it's not menthol, it's peppermint. Yeah, same thing. My husband's the same way. If it has any kind of refreshing anything, it's menthol to him. And then I use Rainbow Sherbet from TFA at 3.5% because Rainbow Sherbet from TFA has some raspberry notes that gives me some of those pink notes in the mix and it has some lime notes and some lemon notes. So that's the white and the pink and the um, green in there. So I figured that would throw in the, the rainbow part of this mix, but it's primarily a blueberry um, sorbet, sherbet that is creamy. Oh, and the... And the Everybody knows that I have that sensitivity to um, citrus notes, right? So the mm -hmm. TFA uh, rainbow sherbet tends to get spicy to me. I call it spicy where, yeah. where I get the throat mm -hmm. hit of it. But if I use MTS um, Vape Wizard from Polar from Flavor Art at 0.5%, it kills that spiciness note and it calms everything down. In addition to that, it gives it, it's mellow, thick and smooth. It thickens it up without having to add additional cream, because I did want the fruit forward with some cream notes behind it, just like a real sherbet would be. And um, it smooths it out, makes it nice and thick, and it gives it like a cream heavy note without adding any additional cream and a certain amount of depth. So that's my mix and it's delicious. I mean, I am vaping it. It was good on day one, it gets stronger. I'm on day three, I think that's optimal. I'm not sure just how much everything will grow in the long term because I've only vaped it for the last three days. But I think because it's so well balanced that it should last and be well. It, it doesn't taste like anything is funky in here whatsoever. It really tastes like a candy. I added 0.5 sweetener to it just because it's supposed to be a dessert. It's supposed to be sweet, but it's something you can omit. And also for people who only know that something cold as a menthol and they don't like that, you can omit the WS the polar blast as well. You don't have to put it in there. I just put it in there for authenticity's sake. You know, I almost used uh, blueberry juicy ripe in my mix. That that and flavor West blueberry, I think, makes such a good combo because it is a little bit deeper. You know, it is a little bit uh, more real than you know. Flavor West blueberry is unabashedly candy blueberry. Mm -hmm. And it's a candy blueberry that could be like a sucker candy it, or a Kool-Aid type candy blueberry. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. a candy blueberry like, mm, I mean, it's, it's artificial, but it's also watery. So to give mm -hmm. it any kind of fullness or rea reality aspects and not a candy, a hard candy style, you have to add something extra to it. And, and I'll tell you that, um, 
um, SC blueberry used to do that for me, but since Flavor Art came out with yeah. this blueberry, it's replaced it for me. Yeah. Yeah, both are good. Both are good options. Um, yeah, I was going to use that, but then, you know, like I said, I've been stuck on jungle flavored blueberry, which kind of does the same thing. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's have, it's, it's really probably good. they're interchangeable, I would say. Yeah, and, and a lot of things, mm -hmm. especially the way we're using it in this in this sense. Yeah, as a booster. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks really good. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. All right. Who wants to go next? I think we only have one Vixen left. Oh, is Rin the only one left? Oh, snap. All right, Rin, let's see what you came up with. So I wanted to do like a blue raspberry lime sherbet, whatever, however you pronounce that word <laughs> thing. Sherbet. Um, I went for 2% baked train vanilla ice cream as a base because I find it the least buttery of just the straight up vanillas without having to build it. Um, cause if I were to build it, then it's like three extra flavors and I just didn't feel like, yeah. um, plus this wasn't really supposed to be like very ice cream heavy. It was more of like the sherbet, which is like loosely, you know, ice creamy or whatever. Um, then for just to back it up a little bit and add, um, some texture, I added half a percent of the one-on-one -on -one marshmallow vanilla. It just gives a nice little vanilla note that I find is like, I find the vanilla in that to be kind of unique. Um, mm -hmm. And it just adds body to the cream. Uh, then for blue, the blue raspberry, I did um, only a quarter of a percent of the one-on-one -on -one blue raspberry candy, and then half a percent of vape train shisha raspberry. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just added a tiny bit of the shisha lime by vape train at a quarter of a percent because I started with half a percent and it just kind of took over so I had to bump her down a little bit so yeah it's pretty nice it's creamy it's fruity it does take a couple days I would recommend to let it kind of smooth out a bit for me as the lime this looks really good. I like that how you just used a touch of shisha lime to just give it a little bit of citrus to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because unfortunately, the the lemon thing is still going on because I started with a different recipe using uh, fizzy sherbet because I think that would have been good. But the lemon note in it or whatever is in it it was giving me the same thing I'm getting from lemons, which is like this weird bitter note. So I had to scratch it. <laughs> Don't you hate that weird bitter note? And then this time of the year, it tends to come out even more than normal. Yeah, I, I really wish I could just taste flavors properly again, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So just kind of have to work with it. You know, I still have yet to get that blue raspberry candy. Is it a pretty bold blue raspberry flavor? Um, I don't know that I would say it's bold, but it's one of the better ones. Um, I, there's really not many blue raspberries I've liked so far. I just feel like they're lacking, but pairing it with just a straight up raspberry helps too. Um, I think it looks really tasty. I think it looks really tasty. It looks like mm -hmm. another, I mean, we all went with blue and oh. we pretty much all went with some sort of uh, cream note and three of us, I think that Lumi went heavier on the cream, obviously, than the rest of us, but we all tried to make a sherbet of some sort. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the going the sherbet route just because of the rainbow colors, but I just saw so much cream in this that I was like, every sherbet I've ever had has been like an Italian ice. There's no cream notes to it. Like I've never had a sherbet. And those were sorbets, not sherbets. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> They're labeled as sherbets and I've never actually had a creamy sherbet. So I was like, this, this just feels off. Mm-hmm. Awesome. 
Well, we have had, we had three people play along this week, guys. Did we? We did. Uh, the first one is Jeannie Sims. She did Vixen's Cotton Candy Ice Cream. Real simple and basic, but it looks really good. She did uh, point, or excuse me, 2% uh, TFA Cotton Candy Circus. Really, I, I like this flavor a lot. It's a really good kind of a, like a blue raspberry type cotton candy flavor. 7% Liquid Barn Rainbow Sherbet or sherbet it's labeled. Um, which this I think is one of the better rainbow sherbet flavors in my opinion. Um, so that's awesome she needs that. And then she did 2% Capella Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. So I think just a simple, I bet it's really bold and flavorful and um, it looks really nice and refreshing. So thank you so much. For and I'll me. add that that rain, that sherbet from Liquid Barn is really good. That's my actually my favorite. And the only reason I used TFA was because I was out of that one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's I think it's uh, the few that I've tried. It's the more like well-rounded one. Yeah, you have to use it at a higher percentage. You see seven percent, you think, wow, that's a lot, but. Liquid bar flavors, you do need to use a little bit more, but it, it's a more robust uh, flavor. And I find that it even has a little bit of a cream note in it already. Mm hmm Yeah. It does. And, the, you know, that Capella Vanilla Bean Ice Cream is a good choice, too, because it's not as, like, buttery as TFA or something like that. So it just has that nice Capella Vanilla to it and a good thick dairiness to it. Yeah, I bet this is a really good uh, three-ingredient mix. Yeah, it's, it's great. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Uh, the next one we have is from Rum Pirate. Rum Pirate. Um, Brian, I, I always butcher your last name. Makaitis, Makaitis. Anyway, Rum Pirate made a birthday cake ice cream for Mixin' and Vixens. He did 0.5% ethyl maltol. 2% cat cake batter, 2% Wonder Flavors fluffy white cake, 1.25% one on one powdered sugar, 0.5% Capella Super Sweet, 1.5 Vape Train Sweet Cream, 2.5% Vanilla Cupcake, and 3.5% Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream. So. I like that he went the cake flavor. route. Yeah. I do too, because this doesn't have to be, you know, it's a picture, it's subjective, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sherbet, you know, so I like that he went with the birthday cake ice cream, and this looks pretty good, Rum Pirate, all good flavors in here, I don't see how this can be bad. I don't see how it can be bad either. <laughs> I mean, all <laughs> good flavors. It kind of makes me want to go out and get like confetti cake and put like a scoop of ice cream on it. Mm. Yeah. For you sure. know what's funny? I don't even like ice cream in real life, but I do like sherbets. Really? Hmm. I'm a weirdo. All right. And last but not certainly not least, our favorite Vixen, Vixen participant and newly instigated judge, I am Sam. He played along this week. He did a bubblegum ice cream. So, which another awesome take on this picture. So he did 2% Mullenberry American bubblegum, 3% LA bubblegum, 2% FA meringue, 0.75% FA milk. He did 2% FA Oba Oba, 0.5% super sweet, and then 4% of that liquid barn ice cream, or yeah, liquid barn vanilla ice cream. Okay, good old goodness. Dude, I know that we're not on gallery view, so everybody didn't see me put my glasses up and go look at the damn recipe, but I was like, 0.75% milk, that's got to be really milky. Yeah. Yeah, and then that with the vanilla ice cream, I bet that's real nice and thick and milky. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was like, how much did he use in the milk? 0.75. That's going to be creamy. And it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Sam, for playing along and everybody else. It's so fun to see what everyone comes up with. Just like that, bubblegum, a whole different profile, bubblegum ice cream. You know, I actually saw bubblegum in the colors, and then, I, but I've never really had too much luck with bubblegums. So I was like, Ugh, yeah. I didn't even, that thought, guys, didn't even cross my mind because I would have loved to try a bubblegum ice cream. Because, you know, we had done, I figure, I think like recently, we'd done a bunch of those like unicorn type mixes. And I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to do that again. And so that's why I tried to go a little bit different with like the, the blueberry lemon route. Um, but I think bubblegum would have been really fun to do, a bubblegum ice cream. Yeah, I think I missed the ep last episode of the unicorn, so I was happy to be able to put in my um, sherbet. Oh yeah, I am Sam says, yeah, it's hard scooped ice cream. And then yeah, it's gotta be real creamy. Yeah. It's gotta be real creamy and it looks like it's delicious. Um, Sam, is this a shake and vape, or how long do you let it steep? If you if you don't mind answering, since you're out there in the chat. He's not answering. All right, so um, next week we'll start getting into, oh, he says three days. He's vaping it, and it's pretty tasty. It, yeah, it looks pretty darn tasty. That, that Mullenberry American bubble gum. As a, a really good choice, and then backing it up with the LA bubble gum. That's a, a good move. Pro move there, Samuel. And you can always pick one of these for your mix. You know what I mean? When you yeah, there you go. <laughs> start thinking about that. All right. So next week, I think um, we're going to start getting into more of the fall mixes. I picked out uh, this picture, which was submitted by um, Brian McNatus, McNatus, Rum Pirate. <laughs> he submitted this picture, and I thought it looked really tasty. And you know me, I like bakeries. So I went with this one, and I'm excited to give this one a go. I'm really glad that you picked that one because I love almonds. And when I saw it, you know, I'm glad that I didn't have to pick it because I was another one I wanted to pick that I didn't think nobody else would. So I was like, yay, it got picked. It was hard to pick pictures this time because there were so many good newer profile submissions that I just wanted to do so many of them. It was really hard to pick. Yeah, I agree. One. And they were different than what we've been seeing. So it was mm -hmm. outside of the box, you know? Yeah. Sounds good. Any ideas on what you would like to mix for this? What does it look like to everybody? Looks like a really nice pound cake with some cream cheese frosting and slivered almonds on it. I feel like I'm going to be touching a lot of wonder flavors. <laughs> you feel like you're going to be touching those wonder flavors? Do they touch back? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> touching me. So yeah. You. <laughs> so, All right, guys. Oh, something, there... something happened really quick just to go back to where we started. Let's go in the full loop. During the show, Mr. Lumi comes in, no liquid left, and just expects me to make it. <laughs> Doesn't give me a heads up, and he's like, oh, by the way, I need this within the next few hours. I have nothing to make. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm glad that, you know, at least my wife doesn't do that. She kind of knows my schedule and she waits until I'm like, am mixing already. And then it's like, okay, can you, you know, mix me more of this? <laughs> and she's got a, probably about four, like three or four 120 mil bottles that she rotates through. So it's never like a dire emergency where like she needs something mixed now. Yeah, my husband, I mix his because he vapes the same thing all the time. It's just a strawberry. Um, I mix his in 16-ounce bottles. 
And when I get down to the last little bit, a lot of times I have to fill his tank and then go mix it so that he has a little bit of a seed steep so that it's ready. Sometimes yeah. I'll yeah. Sometimes I'll mix ahead, but I never, I rarely do. I'm always last minute. I'm always looking at his bottle going, oh God, he's almost out um, <laughs> and dreading it. I don't know why. Why is that? I mix with these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I have a heads up when it's time because it, especially when you mix that much, it takes a while for it to taste good. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. Uh, what is left of his last mix, so. Yes, yeah, I, need I need that for Bayless. I really need one of these things. <laughs> they have them at Bull City. Yeah, and I they also, even sell the, the, the twist top for it. I also need for Bayless, apparently. Apparently. <clears throat> Better get some more Bayless. You don't want another disaster to happen like last time. I need to get the big things of Bayless. These, these four ounces yeah. just don't cut it. Just get a wholesale account and just grab a gallon of Bayless. Yeah. And then she'll eventually get tired of it because then she'll have too much of it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting tired of it. I bought my dad like huge things of like the his last all day vape and now I still have so much left of it because now he's on to this other one. Yeah. Like what am I going to do with all the Soho and I mean it's a good one so at least that's good but well, some of the other you ones. Try to mix it again in a few months and you know like maybe we'll come back to it. I guess. Or maybe since he has three different setups, he can use one of those setups for it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Instead of using the same thing all day, he can rotate now. He's got two flavors he can rotate. He's moving on up. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys, why don't we say, unless there's anything else we uh, have to talk about, let's thank our sponsors and get on out of here. Let's do it. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Bull City. You guys rock. Uh, thank you, Flavora and Scott, over all the flavors. And uh, Wayne, thank you so much for putting us on your podcast network. We really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. We always love uh, chilling and uh, hanging out with our, our friends. If you like what we do and you want to support us in a fun, tasty way, uh, you can hit a couple places you can do that. First of all, you can head on over to flavorjungle.com. And uh, check out our one shot there. Um, also, Rin and Lumi and myself, we have swag over at Shaggy Shane's. Uh, what's the website, guys? Shaggy? Swaggy uh, Shane's Vaping Swag. Vapingswag.com, right? Yes. Vapingswag.com. You can get a Coco Knot shirt or a Lumi Squeak shirt. Or is it Mixtress, Rin? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. when I mean, you can search, it's fine. There you go. You can get a mixtress shirt. Um, and Jen, where can they find you? You can find me over at Chef's Flavors. I made it to the UK. Not the flavors I did. Um, I have two mixes there. They're under the E-Juice Fairy. And it's under the E-Juice Fairy. And my logo sucks. So I really need to update that. I need somebody that knows a little bit about. Commission to, swag artwork commission um, swag yeah I did vicious ants logo i'll have to go i'll have to hit him up uh heaven's nectar is over there which is a tropical more on the strawberry side kind of mix and i have yo-yo blue which is a uh yo a blue yogurt type mix so they're all they're both pretty tasty and they're pretty powerful flavors so those are there, and they're also over in Canada under um, Sippy's site. Yeah, DIYFlavorChaser.com, guys. It's an awesome site. Lots of one shot there. Uh, that's where you can find uh, Jennifer's other mixes. What what one shots do you have over there? God, I have a lot more there. Okay. And, you know, I, I, I don't have that site pulled up, but I do have several there. I have like five there. These are the two. She's actually the dis distro for the UK. So mm -hmm. um, you, she picked her two top sellers and that's what she sent over there. Nice. And then if you guys need some Lumi braids, I could use some braid lovins. You could always get Lumi braids and Lumi stands. Just switch the little Lumi over here. Message Lumi. Hit her up. She's got some cool stuff. We'll take care of you. All right, guys. Everybody have a good rest of your day. 
We'll see you next week.